Well, good morning, Milligan community. My name is Annie Inslee reporting for the Stampede, well, from in quarantine, and this is your weekly news recap. In local news this week, high schools Dobbins Bennett and McMinn County were ready to kick off their second round playoff game on Friday, November 13th at 7.30. However, Sullivan County Department of Health contacted Dobbins Bennett that a McMinn County player had tested positive for COVID-19. Both teams were on the field warming up when they were instructed to leave the field before 6.30 and later that evening the game was canceled. TSSAA is set to make a decision as to which team advances in the playoffs on November 16th. Well, you've probably seen it in national headlines recently, but COVID cases are increasing in 49 states. More than 181,000 cases were reported on Friday, November 13th alone. States like New Mexico, North Dakota, and Oregon add lockdowns and restrictions. So as we head into this holiday season, Buff Nation, I encourage you to stay safe, wear a mask, and always practice social distancing. While we're being encouraged to stay inside, gray wolves are headed back out into the wild. Earlier in national news this week, Coloradans voted for gray wolves to be introduced into the Rockies again. Gray wolves have been removed from the endangered species list and they've now received even more support from Coloradan voters. This is such a major historic decision because never before has a state delegated such a major wildlife decision to its citizens. In global news, Leonid's meteor shower is set to peak this week. And during the shower's peak in a dark sky, it's possible to see up to 10 to 15 meteors in an hour. If you're looking to see some meteors, Buff Nation, your best chance is late Monday, November 16th, and in the early hours of the morning on November 17th. How cool is that? Lastly, Buffs, Musical Artist of the Weekend is set to perform at the 2021 Super Bowl Halftime Show. It's and that will conclude this album. weekly news now recap. With only one more full week of classes, Buffs, let's finish strong and have a great week.